Greetings everyone. In this video we're going to talk about analytics and logging with Azure API Management. During this exercise we're going to look at a couple of different uh, main documentation pieces. Now if we start here at the Azure API Management documentation section, we're going to look at the tutorials in monitor published APIs. We'll be following all of this information about uh, viewing metrics and setting alerts, viewing logs, etc. Also, in addition to that, we'll be looking at a little bit about setting up uh, Azure Application Insights um, to monitor our traffic underneath uh, Managing Production and then Application Insights. So we'll be looking at both of those two exercises throughout. In addition to that, a lot of what we're going to be looking at is really core to Azure. And what I mean that is... Uh, Azure Monitor is one of the fundamental resources that's shared amongst nearly every uh, functionality there in Azure. And it has its it is its own animal in general. Uh, its documentation is found here in DevOps under uh, Azure Monitor. And Application Insights is a component of Azure Monitor. And uh, so is uh, Log Analytics. Um, so we're not going to go into all of that and see right here log analytics, application insights. They're pieces of, of Azure Monitor, and we don't really have all the time today to go into all of those. Um, we are mainly going to go over application uh, insights in some degree, but but really more specific uh, to uh, API management. So let's dive into the portal first and start looking around. The first thing you'll notice when you go to our application insights instance, or excuse me, API management instance, is we have this nice monitor tab here. Now, the older versions would have the graph already displayed, but they've changed that over the over the course of time. And if you view it, you should see a graph. But in my case, I don't. In some case, I've seen this happen several times. If I refresh and I go back to the tab, I should see it normally. And this is what we'd expect, right? Now, interestingly. If you scroll over here, you'll be able to see the exact same information on metrics. And if I actually click into one of these, like capacity, and just click it, it literally takes me to metrics. And remember, I mentioned before, app Azure Monitor, right? Another way you could see this, and I'm just going to go back out here, but another way you could view this, I'm going to open a new window. If I go to this window and literally just go to Monitor, you go to Mon Azure Monitor, right? And I have all these same things, alerts, metrics, logs. Those are all available, and activity for that matter. Those are all available to me, right? Um, so those are common for metrics throughout all of Azure's resources. So if I go into here, now the same thing goes. So I'm on this overview page, and I showed you how to get to the metrics. But if I go to here, I can also select and view that same kind of stuff like that was capacity like we just saw. Right? And I can export this and do some other cool stuff. So that you know that's that's kind of cool. That's all right, but let's take a look a little bit about what this analytics is. Okay? So this is proprietary to application insights, and this information will also be displayed in the developer portal. If you look at uh, when we when we do the developer portal uh, tutorials you'll see this shared there throughout but just some basic things that you can kind of take a look at and see how things are going in you know somewhat real time caching response time requests geography um, APIs that are getting called the operations in the APIs that are getting called uh, the products that are getting used subscriptions literally kind of just a really simple reporting um, there's so much more capabilities that uh, they even have modules that you can pull straight into Power BI that make this amazingly beautiful. Uh, and, and that's something we definitely want to look forward in the future. But these are just some really basic, simple things you can see right away, right? Application Insights, as I mentioned before, is part of Azure Monitor, right? And um, with, with Application Insights, you can start tying in a lot of the API calls. So I've already created a link. If you click Add, you can select your Application Insights instance and add it. I've already done that here. And once it's added, you, you're essentially creating a logger. And with that logger, then you can go and either add all APIs or at a single API. We'll look at all APIs first. 
you can establish establish in your settings here what instance you're logging to what your sampling rate is and quite a few other options here and this can get pretty extensive on what you want to do here but if that's not enough at each individual API level I'm going to discard that you can actually go in and override that so you could essentially go in and add additional functionality on top of that or remove functionality so whatever you set here now that you've turned this on will override all okay there's Azure monitor hiding out there alright so on top of that we've looked at analytics app insights kinda of, and we'll look at some of the details here in fact before we move on let's take a look at that some more I've already made some bunch of regular requests and application insights have been monitoring that for me so I'm gonna go ahead and go out to application insights which is a separate resource and I know I'm logging to this application insights instance it's already got my failed request it knows look there's uh, you know we we're gonna get some information here uh, now interestingly if I look at the application map it'll see it'll show you that there's our API instance with our middle tier API and the back end SQL Server an example so we'll be able to see requests flow all the way through that system and let's just start taking a look at some of these right so if we look at some of these where we see our errors right here that's some of our errors that we've seen thrown we can look at those and see how they're but one of the interesting ones is this request here there's kind of a long running request so if we go back and look real quick and we say you know what show me the ones that are not that are taking a little while to run right and we've seen a couple of these that seem to take a little bit of time so we can start digging into these and if we actually look you'll see the full request go all the way through API management to the backend API all the way back to the database and you'll even see what we're connecting to a database so that's extremely powerful to see all the way tracing all the way through and it doesn't stop there I mean if you really want to look at some of the uh, specific failures it'll even log all the failures for uh, the API's when they don't have uh, subscription keys for example right here or where the API uh, management is denying because of subscription key so these all show up here in Azure API management as well <clears throat> extremely powerful all right so now that we've covered uh, API uh, management and App Insights, let's take a little bit a step further in our monitoring and now look at, at alerts, right? So uh, we've looked at these, we've looked at mon uh, metrics, let's look at alerts. Now, alerts is, again, part of Azure Monitor, right? It's right here. In fact, that is the SEV3 alert I have. If I look at Azure Monitor, it's that SEV3. It's this filtered specifically to this resource. This is all resources you get the idea this is just a snapshot into that let's say I didn't have this alert and I wanted to create one real quick let's say I wanted to create an alert that says you know if I get like three you know 400 400 XX messages over the course of, of a certain amount of time I want to get an alert an email that says hey check this out so let's go ahead and say new alert and I'll show you the exact one in a minute but you know it's targeted to the resource new condition we want to say you know what we're going to do metrics we're going to do it on requests and on that request we want to say back by a gateway category let me close this out sorry guys and I'm going to say 400 XX and I'll say you know what if I get more than three of these over five minutes over five minutes I want to throw an alert right that's what we're talking about here so I'm going to discard this because I've already got one created I'll show you in a minute what, a, what do you want to do if that m criteria is met and there's so many criteria you can meet but if that criteria is met what do we want to do let's say we want to email the admins so let's say we want to create a new action and I want to say blah 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 I want to say I want to email somebody right and that would be the alert I'll cancel this out I want to show you that I've actually already done that uh, if I go back to the alerts I've actually set this all up and I've gotten a couple of alerts here and I'll show you the email I've received right so I set these alerts up for 400 just like what we just saw and I purposely hit those and as an administrator hopefully you see this email here I got this email that says 
I got an alert. It was triggered. Pretty cool stuff. Now again, this is really fundamental to Azure Monitor and not necessarily specific to Application Insights, but it's worth pointing out here that's something that you can show or surface through alerts, right? Now, last but not least is uh, really the log analytics. So we've we've looked at now. If I I I'm, I tried to show you a little bit about um, uh, some of the stuff here in. Um, application insights, but if you go to logs, this is kind of even the tap a little bit deeper. This can show you some amazing stuff with the logs that are collected with application insights, and that's a lot. And and if you think about it, this is a subset of monitor, um, so it's going to have all the web stuff in there. So it's going to have it somewhat filtered. But what if you wanted to see just specific stuff to uh, Azure Application Insights, right? And that's what we're going to kind of talk about next is you'd want to configure diagnostics and set up some log analytic diagnostics. I've already set one up, but if I didn't, I'd click Add and click Gateway. Select where you want the destination. In my case, I selected the log and where I wanted it to go. And that's exactly what I did. So let's discard this. And I'll show you that's exactly what I did right so now that I've started collecting all this logging with app, uh, Azure monitor now with Azure application um, API management now I can go to logs which technically is a shortcut to what you just saw in monitor with log but it's already filtered to the resource API management and if I run this you'll just see hey there's a bunch of fancy cool stuff but let's just take it to its bare minimum and just look at, okay, what happened the last day? These are just some regular data points that are just tremendous amounts of information that was collected for all of those requests. Now we can filter this. It's its own query language. This is so powerful. Uh, it's, it's really great for troubleshooting. Um, but that, again, is part of Azure Monitor and a little bit outside the scope of this this uh, view. Um, I just wanted to show you a little bit about what you can do with all the analytics and logging capabilities with API management. I hope you found this video useful. Um, there'll be some links in the comments below regarding some additional resources. But if you have any questions, leave me a co uh, comment below and I will see you in the next video.